Hello, family. Well, we got a wonderful day going on here. You see, I got a sweater on today. A bit cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make, um, it's going to start out as an apple cinnamon, and it's going to be like a quick bread and muffin mix. That's what we're working with. So we got our empty bowl here. We have two and a half cups of the mix here. So that's going into our bowl like so. And we're working with two whole eggs, two large whole eggs. So here we go with this. And you know I always do this, so I'm jumping ahead of myself and I get excited. Here we go, that's one. Okay. And here we go with number two. Okay, so that's, that's fine. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start blending, mixing, Stirring. Let's get it. Okay, so here we go. Work our egg throughout this like so. And what we get is, see what we got going on here? And then you turn your whisk, you know, free it up. There we go. There we go. So, there it is. Here it is, family. Okay, so now what we're going to do is the original recipe calls for a half a cup of uh, applesauce, but we're not going to use applesauce. And it also calls for a quarter of a cup of oil. Here it is. We're going to use the oil. Quarter of a cup. So let's do this. Usually I have um, the oil poured up. But today, I'm going to do this, and let's hope everything turns out well. Okay, here we go. So I'm holding it over the bowl. There we go, family. Okay, and in we go. So that worked out well. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start our stirring. Blending, mixing again. Here it is. Put the oil throughout. And we'll shake this out of our whisk like so. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some vanilla extract. Now this is our addition, one of them. And let's see. Start with one teaspoon, like so. There we go. Two teaspoons. And I did it this way because I knew this bottle was just about empty. I just wanted to make sure I had it correct. So that's two teaspoons of vanilla extract that we added. Here we go, throughout like so. Our stove is preheating at 350 degrees. This is gonna bake for a while. So here we go with this. And what we got, that was a quarter of a cup of water. So there it is, there we go. There it is. So what I want to add to this is we're going to add some uh, sour cream. And what I want to do is put a half a cup of sour cream in here. So let's do this. And everything is clean, family. Let's see. I'm getting to a half a cup here. I'm going to take this like so, and take this one. Give me a half cup in here. I want to level it. So there we go. Like so. Okay, that'll work. So that's our, I'm going to put this spoon here because I want to get all of that. That's our half cup of um, 
sour cream. Cover this up. Push it to the side for just a hot second. And I'm try to get this off the spoon like so. Take this whisk, and there we go. Getting the excess off this uh, spoon. Okay. Now, let's blend this. There it is. Working out just fine. There we go. There we go. Yes, that's, that's working out. Okay. We have some nutmeg here. So, I want to put a tablespoon that won't go down in there. Let's do it like this. Turn to the side. Go. Put nutmeg in here like so. And we're going to go throughout like this family. There we go. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we have another addition to this, is we have some eggnog. So we're going to put some eggnog in here. Okay, how about that? And we're going to put a third of a cup of eggnog. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's blend this. Yes, it is. It's going to be amazing. Close to it. Close to amazing, family. Okay? Yes. And we're doing pretty good here, time-wise. There it is. See? Now that looks nice. There it is. Okay, now what I want to do is I have the spray here. If you have a non-stick, um, you know, pen, then you really don't have to do this. And that's only if you know for sure that your pen is non-stick. And even... You know, I have a, a bunch of pan, and I still sometimes, I'll spray it because it depends on what I'm baking, you know, what cake, and um, really all my cakes that I bake, I'm into them, and I do not want them to stick. Let me just put it like that, okay? That's just how it is, you know? We get into what we're doing and our creations, you know, get us going. Get the top of that. And we'll do some more blending here, like so. Get that work through, like so. Yes, it is. I'd like to ask you to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. We enjoy your company over here. Put that there. Okay. These are push this camera back or forward. Or I'm gonna do something with it. There we go. So you can see family. These are one pound baking pans. You know, and you can get these in a set of five at um, Dollar Tree. Sometimes you get lucky and you find them there. This one is larger. So what I want to do is I'm going to start filling these. And I'm just going to take the little spoon like so. And we're going to fill these. But not all the way, you know, because... 
we have to make sure we leave enough room for expansion. You know, there we go. So that's one. Then we have number two. And this is something that you can um, do with the kiddos. Date night can handle this. You know. And with the holidays, get you a set of these five um, one pound baking pans. And, you know, get your little cake together or some, um, you know, bread, spice bread. And depending on how many stops you want to make, you could just take something, you know, besides your large dish that you might be taking to the main event. Let's put it like that. You can, um... Take these, you know, take one to each hostess, you know, little sample of what you, you know, put together, a nice gift. So, you know, it's nice to always bring something extra, and this, this could work out just fine. No. Let's do this. Let me take this one now. And here we go. Like so. Okay. Yes, this is going to be good. Delicious. Delicious. There we go with this. Here we go. And in this mix, it had um, dry apples, you know, so once you start adding everything, they start expanding. So, that's what you get. Add some more to that one. So we didn't add, um, we didn't use our our large uh, loaf pan, and that's as I say, that's okay. That is just fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, and we're gonna place them. Some, some say they call them a, a jelly pan. Some the cookie sheet. We're gonna place these. I say cookie sheet. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're going to put them in the oven, okay? How about that? So we take a napkin here or a paper towel and just clean up the side a little bit inside of this. That one is perfect. Or close to it, I should say. This one. Give me a hot second, family. Just one hot second. Let me get this pan. And then we're going to be good to go. Yes, we are. Good to go. Good to go. Here I come. I'm on my way. <laughs> yes. I tell you. So, this is what you got inside your little pants, okay? And we have five. Hopefully, we can get them all here. I believe we can. And now what we're gonna do, see what we did? We're gonna put them in the oven. Turn them to the side like so. Okay, and we're gonna turn our clock on, our little timer here. Okay, let's see, how many minutes do we want to start out with? We're gonna do 35, okay? 35, there we go. And we're gonna blink for a hot second here, family. Okay. All right now, family, it's time for us to get our little cakes out of the oven. And here we go. Yes. Looking nice. But you know what, family, I'm gonna step to the side and pull my mask up. 
Ooh, I feel like I need to cough. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. Probably the spices. Let me get these hands right quick. Get these hands. There we go. <coughs> oh, jeez. Ooh, Lord. It's not chilly. Okay. Let me do this. Ryan. Clean. One more call. <coughs> okay. Okay. So, look what we have. Absolutely beautiful. You see that? Look at that. Now, I'm just going to do this. We need to take these off. They have to cool. And I'm going to say this, these little cakes took all of, or listen to me, there I go again, we spiced them up, so it's just like um, having cakes. I set them for 35 minutes, and what I did, that was the cooking time, I uh, went in at... Um, 33 minutes and then what I did is I let them bake an additional three minutes so you really have to watch these because we put them in smaller pans you know so I want you to see this kind of up close what they say up close and personal let me do this there you go family that's one there you go see beautiful and we're going to let them cool, okay? And we'll come right back. How about that? Okay, we'll let them cool. One blink. Okay, family, let's get with this. The hands are clean. Our little apple cinnamon. And we added vanilla extract. There we go. And we added our nutmeg. So, our little quick bread, it's done. Look at that. Look at that. So, <laughs> let's see. Let's see about, it's nice and cool. But you see, you can hold this in the palm of your hand. So, you see what size it is. Okay, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, look at that. Okay, isn't that gorgeous? You must make this, yes. You must bake this, yes. And guess what I'm gonna do here. There we go. Look at that, just look at that. Oh, yes. Look at that. We got it going on. You see that? Look at that, beautiful. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, it's moist. It's good. Okay. It's not sweet, you know, not sweet, sweet. But you got a tab where you can taste the spices and a little sweetness, and this is great. Here we go. This is what we started with, okay? This is Baker's Corner. You can get this from Aldi's. This is the apple cinnamon quick bread and muffin mix. What this called for, now this is what it called for, but we did something different. It called for a quarter cup of water. It called for a um, quarter cup of oil, a half cup of applesauce, and two eggs. What we did is we omitted the applesauce and we added, here we go, sour cream. 
And this is food uh, sour cream. This came from Piggly Wiggly, okay? So what we did, you know, we discussed our measurements as we were, you know, making this. We also put nutmeg and vanilla extract, okay? And that's what got us here. Absolutely delicious. It really is. This is a nice, you know, little, um, you know, you want to go to a friend's house or something like that. Or if it's the holidays, Christmas, get you one of those little gift bags. Get you some of the tissue paper. Set this on the tissue paper. Bring it up like so. Wrap your ribbon around and you can put your little bow. You can do this for birthday, you know, party, just any kind of get together. You know, you want to take something and then get you a little small gift bags and take it on with you. We're looking. Okay. This is it. This is where it's at, family. Okay. You're going to let this cool for 20 minutes. You're going to add an extra five minutes if you like. You're going to cook this for 35 minutes. Stop it at 33 minute mark and then watch it closely for the next two minutes because it can get close to burning. That oven is going to stay on 350 the entire time. And this is what you're going to get. i like to ask you to subscribe and hit that like button. I love your company. I love you. I love you. I love you. And family, I know you love me and always always love yourself love yourself first family is the most important thing you can ever do and with that i'm just gonna say bye for now bye